Hi, I'm Dave from Overdose Industries, and I'd just like to say thank you for purchasing our wingsuit leg strap bungee system. The following video is a set of instructions telling you how to fit the system to your container. Inside the packet, you should have this card, which includes a website and a QR code that will take you to this instructional video. On the back is a measure, we'll need this later. Forty centimeters of three millimeter shock cord. The bungee mechanism itself. This is now made from aluminium and has been lab tested to seventy kilograms and operates by squeezing together the two silver tabs and sliding the black outer section back. And to close, simply slide it forward, and you should hear an audible click. And finally, a plastic needle attached to some string. This can come, become detached during transport. If this has occurred, it's simply a double overhand knot to tie the string back to the needle. Please dispose of the plastic bag thoughtfully. In addition to the contents of the package, you will also need a pair of sharp scissors, a cigarette lighter, pen and paper. The first step in fitting the new wingsuit leg strap bungee system is the measurement and removal of the old system. So to start, we'll just place these parts to the side. Using the measuring ruler on the back of the instructions, we're simply going to place it parallel to the existing system and pull it to full stretch. We can see here this one measures about 18 centimeters. So we're going to write that down on the pen and paper as we'll need this number later. Now with a pair of sharp scissors, we're going to remove the old system, being careful not to damage the container. At this point, we're going to work out the length of the elastic needed when fitting the system. So I'm just going to move the leg straps to the side. And grab the pen and paper. We know the measurement of the system just removed was 18 centimeters. And this system, when fitted with a double wrap, is 5.5 centimeters. So we'll subtract that from 18 centimeters. which leaves us with 12.5 centimeters. The elastic has a two to one stretch ratio. So once the elastic is fitted, it needs to measure around six centimeters. If the system we've removed is longer than uh, 20 centimeters, we're going to fit this system with a single wrap. The video will show, explain this, in which case it will measure 7.5 centimeters. So let's use a hypothetical measurement of 24 centimeters minus 7.5 centimeters, which would equal 16.5 centimeters. We'll then divide this by two and that will equal eight centimeters. Now we've worked out how long the elastic needs to be, we can move on with fitting the mechanism to one side of your leg straps. This system fits just like a slink does to a riser, and to do this, we're simply going to tie the string to the eye at the end without the metal clasp, and tie it with a double overhand knot like so, and pull it tight. We'll place the needle through the attachment point on your container, and pull it all the way through, and then we'll thread the needle through the eyelet underneath the metal clasp. So you can see it's gone through the middle. Once again, we'll pass it through the attachment point on your rig, Pulling it all the way through, you can see it's going through. 
and once again back through the eyelet underneath the metal clasp. From here we can untie. I'm just going to get the loose end unstuck and untie the needle. Pulling it tight, you want to pull the eyelet end over the clasp. So you see it's gone around. And work it all into position. Ideally, you want the two wraps to be on top of each other, one inside the other, not side by side. This will help reduce bulk and make it all sit neater. To fit a single wrap, we repeat, we do the same process, however, we only go through the eyelet once, which I'll demonstrate now. So first I'm going to remove this, so we're going to work it backwards. Remove it completely. Once again, reattach the string with a double overhand knot through the attachment point on the rig, through the eyelet below the metal clasp, undo the needle, and pull it over the metal clasp. Like so. Remember, we'll only use a single wrap if the measurement of the system removed when stretched was greater than 20 centimeters. For now, we're going to carry on with the original measurement of 18 centimeters. So I'm going to once again remove this and refit it with two wraps. So, one more time, attaching the string. Double overhand knot through the attachment point, through the gap, through the attachment point, through the gap. Remove the string. and pull the eyelet over the top of the metal clasp, like so. Pulling it all tight and into position. And there we have it. From here, we're going to set about fitting the elastic. Now there's two ways to do this, a quick and easy way, which I'll demonstrate first, and a neater way that's a little bit more effort, which I'll demonstrate second. So we'll start by placing the measure back between the two attachment points on the leg strap. We know from over here we need it to measure about 6 centimeters for the elastic as it will stretch out the 12 plus the 5.5 of this will bring us up to around that 18 centimeters the original system that we removed was. So we'll simply thread the elastic through the attachment point and then placing it next to the measure of around 6, 6.5 centimeters. We'll just tie an overhand knot and we'll adjust the knot so it lines up with the corresponding measurement. In this case, slide it down a bit. Pull it nice and tight with a pair of sharp scissors. Trim the ends and lightly melt the ends Rotate the knot back around, open the clasp, attach, and slide it closed.
and we're back to the original measurement. An alternative way of fitting the elastic is with a simplified blood knot. So I'm going to introduce a new piece of elastic and remove the simplified version. For this, once again, we'll thread the elastic through the attachment point. Now this knot has a tendency to walk, so we'll start at about four centimeters. So we'll cross the two ends over each other, line that up, give or take four centimeters, and then with one end, wrap it around the loop twice. One, two, and then we'll bring it back around and pass it between where the other loose end and the knot and the loop overlap. And then with the other loose end, we'll wrap around twice again, this time in the opposite direction. And with the gap that the first loose end is now coming through, we're going to pass the elastic in the opposite direction down through that gap. From here, we're going to start pulling the knot tight. You need to pull on the loop and the loose ends. The knot has a tendency to walk, so if we start a bit short, we should finish up around six centimeters. Pull it nice and tight. Check the measurement, around six, seven centimeters there. And the advantage of this knot is we can cut the ends off nice and flush. So with a sharp pair of scissors, remove the excess, just melt back the ends, being careful not to burn other parts of the shock cord. Pull nice and tight to ensure the knot has integrity. And then we can rotate the knot back into the attachment point on your rig. It may take a small amount of massaging. There we go. Finally, we can tie a overhand knot to keep the two lengths more parallel. This will be difficult if the loop is particularly short. Now we just want to keep that about two centimeters from the end. Once again, pull it nice and tight. And then we can attach it to the clasp. And we're back to that original 18 or so centimeters. Finally, I'd like to say thank you for purchasing our products. If you'd like to leave us any feedback, please feel free to email us through the email address on our website, or you can contact us through Facebook. If you ever need any assistance, we'd be more than glad to help. Have a great day.